Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you a plugin called WP Mush It that allows you to compress images on your website so they load faster when people visit your site. There's two reasons you want to do this. First, user experience. Pages that load faster, users like them better. Actually, there's three reasons. The second reason is if users are using their mobile phones, they don't want to load multi-megabyte images on their data plan. So you're saving them costs, real, saving them real money by compressing your images. And third, page speed is a ranking factor in Google. So the faster your page loads, the higher your rankings can potentially be in Google. So you want to make sure you compress those images. And we're going to compress them using a plugin called WP Mush It, which is a great little plugin made by WPMU Dev and they make all kinds of plugins, a lot. Most of them are focused on multi-site WordPress installations, but this one isn't, and this one is fantastic to use on your site. So we're gonna install this plugin right now. First, we hover over plugins on the left, and then click on Add New. Then we type in WP Smush It. I type it all one word. They call it WP Smush, so you can just search for that if you want. Then we click on Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. Now this is a free plugin, but they try to upsell you a lot to their paid version. I find the free version works just fine. The paid version is a little bit better in compressing and adds some other perks, like you can compress all your images at once. With the free version, you can only do 50 at a time. But for most, most websites, compressing 50 at a time is more than enough. So. Here they're upselling you right away to get the uh, a discount on their pro version. You can get that if you want, but it's not necessary. What WP Mush It does is it adds a menu item under the media menu on the left called WP Mush. So we're going to click on that. And this red area that looks like a big error is actually an upsell to their paid version. So we can ignore that if you don't want to get the paid version. And here we have the option to immediately when images are uploaded, we can mush them right away. So we can keep that checkbox checked to do that. We click on save changes. And here it shows again, more pro features. They do a lot of upselling with this plugin. And at the very bottom, we have some stats. We have 227 image attachments in our media library that have not been mushed. So we can actually right here, if we click this blue bulk mush 50 attachments button, it will start mushing 50 attachments. And the reason it's only doing 50 is because we have the free version. But once it's done mushing that 50, which usually takes only a few minutes, you can just click it again and mush the next 50. So when you do this on your site once, the first time you install it, you go through and mush all the images that already existed. And if you have this option checked to mush them on upload, then it'll just mush them automatically every time you upload an image. So that's why I say the free version is more than good enough. The pro version does provide a little better mushing, but again, not required. So we have the option of mushing them here, or we can go to the media library, either via this link or via the library link up here, and we can mush individual images if that's what you want to do. You don't have to mush all of them. So we can mush individual ones. And this airplane image here is the image that comes with the theme. And any image you click on is going to be a blue mush button or blue mush now button. If we click on that, it's going to, you guessed it, mush now. And for this image that comes with the theme, it already shows as already optimized. So that means that the theme developer mushed this image or didn't necessarily mush it, but compressed this image as much as possible. So that's good. That's what you want your theme developers to do. What I'm gonna do right now is add a new image that's not yet compressed. So then we can see what happens when, when we have the Mush plugin in action. So I'm gonna click on Add New at the very top. And then if you're following along, you can drag and drop a file into this dotted area. I'm just gonna click on Select Files to file it on the hard drive. And I have an image of me holding a crocodile, a baby crocodile, mind you. And its mouth was taped shut, so I wasn't too scared of this guy, but this is me holding a crocodile, and this image is not optimized. But I do want to show you one quick thing about uploading images to WordPress, which is pretty interesting, that you may not know. If you go into the your hosting account, we're on HostGator, which is where this demo site is, 
if you find the image upload folder, which you can do by going to WP content, uploads, and then find the year, in this case 2015, and then the month 12, what we see, this is the image I just uploaded, me versus the crocodile.jpg. But there's four other versions that WordPress creates automatically when you upload an image. And these four different versions are just four different sizes that are used commonly by themes or plugins or, or the blog itself as a featured image. So it creates those four different versions so that if, if you need a certain size of image, you get the exact size of the image instead of taking the original and just compressing it. For example, the first one is 150 by 150 pixels. If we just, if we just in the HTML code, say make this image 150 by 150, we still keep it at 41 kilobytes in size. By WordPress, making a new image at 150 by 150, the size of the image goes down to 9.6 kilobytes. So that's over four times smaller. And that helps page load speed. That's why WordPress does that. You may not have known, thought I'd share that because it's interesting. But if we go back to our image here with the crocodile, we have the blue mush now button. If you click on mush now, it's going to mush it right now. And then we're going to see the results in a few seconds. In this case, WP mush, there were five images reduced by 9.46 kilobytes overall or 5.1% reduction in size. So you can click on this link to see more stats. And it shows which image it was and then the size of the compression. And that's it, that's the WP Mush plugin. So when you install this plugin, you have the option of, in the free version, compressing 50 images at a time, which works just fine. You have the option of setting it so whenever you upload a new image, it's automatically mushed or you can go in and mush or compress individual images in your media library. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to your YouTube channel where you get more awesome videos like this all the time, and check out WPLearningLab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.